It's her time to go. 11 years on this farm. And it's finally time for her to leave. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. I got some bad news and some good news. Good news is that I am I'm dewinterizing everything. I took out the middle boards, I took out all the draft anti-draft boards, so now I can see through my rabbit cages. And I'm also getting the wire on top. I've had a couple babies escape the last couple days. They're starting to like they climb out this wire. They climb up the corners and out the wire. They get out and then I lose money because I lose the rabbit and then the cats will sometimes get them or not my cats wild cats will come in here and get them but I put those put that wire up today so I got that all kind of it's a work in progress I have another roll to do and that's it just one more roll to do I'm running out of time so I'm working on that slowly it's yeah it's, these guys are ugh. that's why I have uh, boards on top of some of my cages too so they can't climb out but I got some octagon wire so I'm gonna lay that on top of it get that all worked out but see now I can see through my cages and there's a nice airflow and I even got uh, the plastic down off the window and then for show purposes I, I went to Walmart and I was looking at a couple things because I saw this really really good idea at the show the other day is that somebody had battery powered fans on their rabbits it was 83 degrees it was hot I had frozen water bottles, I was putting them with my rabbits to try to cool them down a little bit because they were sweat, like not sweating, but they were like really hot, their ears were starting to fold. And I was like, I'm, you guys are gonna show you guys just ears need not can't be folding. So I got I picked up this fan. It's a really, really nice fan. It's a battery powered fan. It's not very thick either. It's just an, it's a nice fan. It was like $12 for the battery powered fan. And I put and it also has a plug-in too. So you can either plug it in or you can run batteries off it. And that fan works really nice. I really, really like that fan. So I'm going to probably go back tomorrow and get a couple more of them. So the bad news I have, one of my brood does is not doing so well. She's also 11 years old. She is a really, really old doe. Um, I, I moved a lot of rabbits around today. I moved some of my does around and whatnot and moved some babies. I weaned a couple babies, uh, two litters of babies. But i just looking at her. She's just, she's not looking good. She's, uh, she's kind of just tired. She just looks not like she's not healthy. Like you see this doe next to her. This doe next to her. See, her ears are perked up. She's laying down and whatnot. Her ears are nice and folded up and erect and everything else. And then there's her, who's, she's been sluggish. I haven't seen her really eating or drinking lately. So I might have to call her. I'm really, really sad because she's one of my favorite brood does. She's a great mother, everything else. But she false pregnancied uh, this month. I bred her and she false pregnancied, which was a strike against her, but she that was only her second strike in 11 years. That's how much I like her is that she has not done anything wrong. She has been a, all around a good rabbit. And now she's kind of looking like it's almost her time to go. So she's going to be kind of a call. I'm going to keep her pelt for memories. Uh, I have a couple pelts. I did a couple other brood does this year. Uh, this is one of them. Nice pelt. It's all torn up and like that because the dog grabbed it and ran off with it. And it pissed me off. But this is one of my doe rabbits I did. It's a nice pelt. I really like it. So... So yeah, that's kind of the bad news I have. I'm really, really sad about it. I'm really bummed about it. I really like her. She's my favorite doe. She's one of my bigger does too. She's actually one of my biggest does I have. Uh, she's really lanky, really nice and long and filled out and just nice rabbit. And now this happens as I moved her, she was in the brood doe cage and then this was the last day that she could have possibly had her babies and she didn't have them. So I pulled her away from the brood boxes and everything else. I never really paid attention to her in the brood cages, but uh, once I got her in those cages, she's kind of really acting sluggish. Uh, usually she's, usually when I move them, look at this, hold on. Okay, 
Oh, he got up. He look. They they lay they lay weird, and it looks like they're dead. They lay like on their side and their head back and everything. They look like they're dead. But so I'm gonna have to call her. I'm really 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 bummed about it. So I might do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do a video on it just to show you guys. But I really don't want to call her. I gave her some antibiotics to make her feel better. Uh, she didn't have ear mites. She didn't. She doesn't have hay mites or uh, skin mites or fleas or lice or anything like that. She doesn't have any kind of bugs on her. She's a healthy weight too. She's not. She didn't lose weight or anything. She's a healthy 12.3 pounds. So I don't know what her deal is. Uh, I think it's just age. I think it's just her time. So she served a really really good purpose on this farm. Um, this is one of her. The doe in this cage, the mama. That's one of her babies. I uh, don't have a buck out of her, actually. I have, this. that's one of her babies. This is her, uh, this though is her great-granddaughter. And then, where'd she go, where'd she go, where'd she go? Oh, she's actually in the brood box too. And this though is her great-great-granddaughter. So, as you can see, I really liked her. I kept a lot of her babies. Uh, I actually sold off the two that I, the two pelts, I have two pelts over there. Those are two of her babies too. Two of her, uh, one's a great granddaughter and the other one's a great great granddaughter. So I, you can see I really liked her. She had really nice babies. Really, really nice, full, fat babies. And I loved them. So I have her genetics in my herd. So I'm happy about that. She really, she really, really worked really nice for me. So she's been a really great addition to the farm. And she's really, really, she was actually the reason why I am so sad about this. Like, well, it's, it's sad in general. But she was, she's probably going to be the worst doe that I have to lose because she was the very first New Zealand rabbit that I ever bought. And she, she started this whole operation. She started rabbits for me. She really got me interested in it. I, she's very first rabbit I've ever had, or not ever had, but first New Zealand. I used to have, uh, I had like two or three uh, Champagne D'Argents too. So, but I had her and she just, I can't count how many litters she's had for me. She's probably had 30, 20 litters, 20, 30 litters for me easily. But like I said, it's just, it's one of those things. It's part of the, it's part of farm life. You gotta just accept it and be grateful for what you have out of, be grateful for what you have. This whole, all of these rabbits are because of her, because of that doe, because she is just, that good of a doe. She did. She helped me out that much. It's just, uh, it's sad, but it's it's farm life. It's what you gotta. If you want a homestead or farm or have a hobby like that, you gotta do it. You can't let an animal suffer. You can't let them sit there and be in pain. I gave her antibiotics to try to give her a chance just to see if she did have some kind of sickness, which none of my rabbits have really ever been sick sick they've had a couple issues like mites or mastitis or things like that but they've never actually been sick sick like they have actually a complete disease but so i gave her some antibiotics to try to help her out a little bit uh i gave her a couple drops of ivamectin uh oral injection or not injection but oral drip so i gave her some water i also put a little bit of uh uh Gatorade in her water because it makes them it's, it tastes better so they eat it they'll drink it a lot more if you put that in there they just like the taste of it so they'll drink more water to get her hydrated and everything but she's she's eating actually right now so she's eating right now but as you can see her ears are down she just looks she got those eyes like she's looking like she's sick it doesn't feel good what's wrong V are you okay big mama but yeah she, you can kind of see how too how she's moving. She's moving stiffly and not being super active. And she's not being how she should. She's not acting right. So, but just does like that is what makes people really want to do rabbits. A lot of people who get rabbits they start off and they don't. <coughs> they start. <coughs> oh, they start off and they get a really bad rabbit the first time and it completely turns them off a of rabbit. Completely completely makes them not want to do raise, raise rabbits at all because they get a really bad doe. She was opposite. She was such a good doe and she wanted me to keep doing it and learn and I learned what a good doe is. I learned 
what she had I think the smallest litter she ever had was five and then usually she goes up to around 11 kits per litter she's gone to nine kits a litter her average is usually about eight or nine kits per litter and she does an amazing job she's always fostered every baby I gave to her uh, who was it I think it was who was it I think it was I think it was these two. I fostered these two to her, and she took them and raised them because her, their mama died. No, it wasn't those two. It was, well, it was, I sold the other one off, but her, but v, she fostered her, and she raised her up for me because her mom died randomly for no reason. I did an autopsy on her. I couldn't find anything wrong with her. I just, one of those things. It's, she was just dead. She, I, it was before I moved uh, last year, so it was the day before the day I was gonna do rabbits. I moved cages and moved a lot of the rabbits, and then I just had the other half of rabbits to do the babies. And I went to go get them, and she was dead in the cage. And I was like, "What?" So I had that litter, so I fostered them to her, and she took them and did an amazing job with them and finished them out for me. And but this video is basically on her because she is very. Rabbits like her are a liability on the farm. That's what you want. Yeah, this one, yeah. Sorry, they're like a lot of, they're, they're all black, so it's, I get confused sometimes, but I can tell by her body style that it's her. So it's, but one of those things, it's terrible, it happens, but you can't look at all the bad things. You gotta look at the positive things. You gotta think this doe did a great job this animal did a terrific job on starting it and getting me the right stuff that I want because I have two of her one granddaughter and one great granddaughter out of her that are wonderful rabbits especially she's actually only um, she's only a year old this is her second litter but she's doing a great job and then her if she, these guys will get off of her that's her granddaughter her granddaughter actually she, because that's her granddaughter, and then that is her great granddaughter, which is really is the daughter of the granddaughter. So, but she does an amazing job. She had eight kits this litter. She is exactly the same as her. She does absolutely everything I want her to. She only has one strike on her, and that's because her babies died a week into having them. But she, she got mastitis, which was a weird thing. Um, I don't really know how it happened, but it did. So. But other than that, I'm just kind of talking about bad, what happens on a farm. It's basically what happens. It, it's part of life. You got to just accept it and you can't really tell them no. If she's not feeling good, I'm not going to let her. I mean, as much as I love that doe and I really, really like her and I've, I just, I just, I, don't, I can't let her be in pain. I can't let her sit there and be in pain because I like her because she's a valuable member of my rabbits. If, she's, if she's in pain, she's gotta go. She can't, I'm not gonna make her live for me to be happy. It's, it's not, you don't wanna do that. It's just, raise them to where they're, ha they're happy, you're happy. I mean, if they're happy and you're not happy, they're still, I mean, you can sell them, but if you're happy and they're happy, that's what you want to do. You don't want to raise unhappy rabbits or unhealthy rabbits. If they're not feeling good, they're sick, or they have something wrong, get rid of them or kill them, but butcher them. But I can't let her sit in pain. I can't do that to her. I'm not that kind of person. If an animal's in pain or in suffering, I'll give them a chance. I'll give them some, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Medicine and antibiotics and stuff and just different kinds of things. I'll try it. I'll give them like a couple more days and if it doesn't improve then they're gone there you go so yeah that was just the end of this video not really much just kind of about her about the start of my operation so thanks for watching don't forget that don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a nice day